everyone, this video I want to make a review of this uh, uh, Ordro 4K camcorder. This part of the video is recorded using the cam as well as the sound. So I'll get you to the unboxing, I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, and uh, the most important I'll show you was the video quality during daytime and nighttime. And uh, guys, if you found this video helpful, I really appreciate it if you can tap the like button and also subscribe. So let's get into the video. And it comes in this uh, super cool case. Uh, and as well, if you guys can see over here, uh, even the zip is branded. But the most important is to see what is inside. So I'm just going to open it right now. And uh, on this side, uh, we have a lot of accessories. The first thing that we see is the user manual, which is quite thick. Uh, the SD card, the um, 32 giga cleaning cloth. Here are plenty of cables. And also there is a remote control. Also a card reader, kind of cool. But I'll show you more details about this one a bit later. And here is a carrying uh, case uh, for the camera. But there's another thing here, as you can see, there is empty. So you can put uh, more stuff and uh, the camera compartment is uh, divided uh, with this uh, foam which is kind of cool and it has uh, the following i'll go one by one here we can see the light this is the size of it and i'll show you obviously how this one works uh, here we have an adapter because here is the charger and uh, i'm here in the uk and this charger is made for us as i can see and uh, yeah, with the adapter, I can charge the batteries, uh, kind of cool. And it doesn't require any cable. I really like this. Uh, here we have the lens shade. I'll show you obviously how to install this one. Here we have the macro lens, which looks like this, the first overview. And here the back can be opened as well. Then if we go further, here we have the bracket to install the light in the microphone. Here we have two batteries. One and two. Uh, I'm not really sure what this one represents. And it looks like this, but obviously I'm gonna find out. And uh, here is the microphone. And uh, this is the first overview, it has a nice branding over here, only on this side. And we can remove the, this uh, muff. And uh, yeah, this is the first overview, as I said. Uh, here we can attach uh, more items, it has a hot shoe. And I don't see any charging port, uh, that means that uh, the mic is powered uh, using uh, the cable not really sure yet and i'm not also i'm not sure what this one represents why is it so flexible mm, quite interesting and it has several functions uh, as you guys can see here is normal here is low cut uh, here is to adjust the intensity it's like a plus uh, 10 decibels and uh, just zero regular and this is on and off button and if we go further here is the adapter uh, not the adapter the uh, handle the stabilization I'll show you also this one and uh, here is the main piece here is the camera comes with this uh, bubble wrap protective and this is how it looks like the first door you nice 4k it has here hot shoe to install the rest of the accessories 30 megapixel here is the zoom uh, here is the uh, all the programs uh, uh, this is the uh, port area and also obviously this one is uh, well protected with this silicone material to avoid any um, water going in here you have the screen, several buttons for the menu and also the power button. Uh, here is the SD card the slot, which goes uh, like this, but I'll obviously I will show you how. And this is the uh, adapter for the, to uh, put it on a tripod and as well it has uh, two anti-slip legs over here. And uh, yeah, this is the position. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, install everything. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put the SD card inside, which is over here, and it goes like this and you have to press till you hear the click all right this one is done and then i'm going to insert the battery which goes over here and in order to open this compartment there is a button over here and once you press it then the battery compartment will open and the battery has to go like this okay all good and done and then i will add the, the rest of the accessories and i will continue with the microphone uh, this uh, hot shoe goes here on top Just make sure you lock it, but in fact, no, I made a mistake because I want a bracket, which is uh, over here. And I'm gonna install first the bracket and I'm gonna lock it. And then I'm going to install the microphone here on the side because I want to install also the light. Meanwhile, I'm gonna close this one because it's a bit confusing. And now that I have put the mic uh, here, uh, there is something really interesting. This is the cable of the mic, yeah? And uh, here at the back, uh, where is this, uh, where the ports are, 
it show it's written uh, mic in so if i open it it's a bit confusing and if i open this one i don't see any jack port over there and this cable microphone has jack port and i cannot insert it but in fact there is an adapter which is located uh, over there in the box um and uh, you have to connect with the adapter just like this and uh, this one has to go in the right port and i find this to be very very annoying okay now i've inserted it looks a bit strange because as you can see this cable is just uh, hanging over here okay so if we go further now we have the light over here which uh, can go here on top just like this and i'm gonna make sure that i lock it properly and if i open this one there's also some instructions over here not sure why and uh yeah installation something like this but it's pretty easy uh to do it you just have to open it like this and there's a screw over here at the bottom and if you hold it like this it will go exactly like i'm holding it right now and make sure you lock it here at the bottom yeah and more or less that's it about the setup i'll also show you right now um how to install the lens you can see the camera is uh, more or less uh, stable obviously you can open the monitor over here and this is the first uh, overview i'm not really sure why when i just open the monitor the camera goes uh, and uh, turns on because i'm pressing the button and uh, here it says goodbye and every time i'm uh, putting this on putting the uh, screen and when i open it uh, it uh, switches on with quite annoying in my opinion all right so there's one more thing i'm gonna add this uh, lens and uh, just uh, unscrew here the this part and oh sorry and what you have to do is make sure you hold the camera something like this yeah and uh, this is how it looks but obviously i'm not gonna use uh, this one because it's macro i'll show you how it looks in the video okay so this is how the lens shade uh, supposed to look like there is a ring here at the back that you have to put on uh, uh, the shade and once you have this on just make sure you screw it properly on the, the front lens just like this all right so yeah this is the setup this one has to go over here for mind i don't know if the screw is right because i tried for a couple of times to fit it and uh, i couldn't but surprisingly this shade over here goes really well on top of this uh, um, macro lens just like this and obviously i'll show you uh, how it works so this is the first overview of the cam you put a mic on you put this on on and uh, yeah now uh, let's make some tests yeah so this is the first overview of the cam uh, the light is here mic is here uh yeah this is the bracket uh, what i found really annoying is the fact that this cable for the microphone hangs out like this and it has this part uh, and it's a it's a bit disturbing uh, here is the screen and uh here yeah, i think this one if i'm not wrong is the infrared for the remote control uh, here is the battery compartment. If you open this on the battery uh, compartment will open. We have the start uh, and stop uh, button. Uh, there is the infrared. And this button is quite important because uh, if I open the monitor, yeah, I have to press the power button, which is located over there. In fact, it switches on automatically. I don't know why. It's a bit annoying. And uh, here, this button is very important because uh, here is on set. And set, you get this on the on the screen. As well, using the button at the top, which is the zoom button, you can navigate in the menu. Or, basically what you can do, you can uh, press uh, on the screen because it's touch screen, which is kind of cool. And, uh, for example, if you want to film something, you need to go here and press the switch, uh, this uh, to the right. And then it goes to a video mode. And on video mode, this is how uh, what we see on the screen, the battery level, this is the play button, we have the menu. And we have different functions over here, phone K and so on. And for example, if you want to go and take pictures, we need to switch to picture mode. And we get several options over here, slightly more than uh, for a video. Obviously, this one can be customized, be customized based on your preference. And uh, yeah, more or less, uh, that's it. Yeah, I just wanted to show you something else here. Um, here is the uh, play button. Uh, here is the menu button, the display button. If you press this on the display, uh, uh, you can change uh, or switch off uh, the display you can change the settings on it uh, here we have the menu button and here on the settings uh, you have function playback and uh, so forth and uh, get out of here basically from the menu you can press uh, uh, on the screen or you can press menu and if you have a play 
button. Obviously, there's nothing to display over here because uh, the camera is uh, brand new. And now, let's make some tests. And now I'm just walking and this is how uh, it records. Uh, this is how stable the image is. And the response rate is really good even though I uh, move uh, quite fast. And um, the balance between uh, highs and lows is quite good because if I uh, point it at somewhere where it's dark and then somewhere where it's uh, quite a lot of light, it adapts uh, quite fast. So yeah, from this point of view, I'm very satisfied. And now I'd like to make another test. I'm just walking a bit faster. And now I'm running, and this is the result. So now here's the part of the video where I would like to show you uh, how the zoom performs. And uh, this is the max zoom out, and I'm gonna zoom in. And more, more. It records at 4K, so this is the max zoom that we can get. And if I just rotate the camera, it is very responsive, even at the full zoom. And if I just zoom out, I'm using the camera right now on a tripod, and it's doing a pretty good job. So this is the performance of uh, uh, the camera. Daytime, I'm staying at around uh, 1.5 meters from uh, uh, the cam, and uh, yeah, it does a pretty good job. And now I would like to show you uh, more things about it. Here is the quality of uh, the video using uh, the light. I'm almost uh, at one meter. Uh, from the camera and uh, yeah, you uh, can say that it's pretty good. Now this is the quality of the video with the macro uh, lens on. I can see that it's a bit wider in terms of angle, but I'm not really sure if it's uh, macro, because macro is supposed to see the uh, details very, very close and I can see it's not focused properly. So I don't see the point of using this lens because it doesn't do that much. I am in uh, completely zoom out and yeah besides the fact that it's a bit wider it's nothing that I would pay attention to and this is the quality of the video in the evening uh, I would say that is uh, quite decent also the response rate is uh, more or less uh, uh, doable uh, and this is the quality of the video in the evening uh, I would say that the image uh, quality is uh, more or less decent, also the response rate is uh, quite fast if I just move the camera like this up and down, you can see clear the details, there is uh, uh, less noise than uh, I obviously expected because it's very very dark here, and if I just walk a bit, yeah, the video is uh, steady, doesn't shake that much, so uh, yeah, for general I would say that is uh, okay from this point of view. After I had this chance to test this camera for a couple of days, I came to the conclusion that more or less it does a good job. There are things that I like about it, things that I don't like, but for general, considering the price that I pay for it uh, and it's 4K, you can take picture, pictures, comes with um, an external mic, uh, also with the light. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the performance of it. So guys, uh, do I recommend you to buy it or to drop it? Well, definitely to buy it. If you have any questions related to the camera, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will answer. There's also a link where you can check out more information about the product. Thank you for watching. See you next time.